Good morning, Karen. Yes, it's me. I have risen from sleeping quite a while. I woke up way too late last night, so I just made supper and went back to bed with Ed. And I'm up in Adam now. I have my fresh cup of coffee and my stainless steel. I love these double wall stainless steel mugs. I can't break them, number one. And they keep my coffee hotter, longer. Anyway, I need your opinion on something. Um, I was going to send Cindy an Easter basket. Well, I still am for Easter. And I found a vintage Easter basket for her it, at Itsy, Itsy. And I liked it a lot. It wasn't very much money, but it was very old. And, and after I got it, I thought, oh my gosh, I think I like it. I don't want to give it to her. I'm being selfish, but let me just show you what it looks like here, Karen. It's made of, of metal. And as you can see, it's the same color as this room. It's got these pretty little metal, rosy, mauvey roses with cream in the middle and the handles came down. That's why I liked it because I could get it in a box and I could fill it. All I'm going to give her are those robin eggs, those molten milk balls that look like robins. But it's kind of dirty or whatever you want to call it on the inside, but I liked it. Now I like it so well. I think I want to put it I don't have a lot of room to put things in this room but it just goes so pretty and it's I don't know if Cindy would really appreciate it um, I'm trying to talk myself into keeping this here I just don't know if she'd appreciate it so if you think that I should keep it along with me I don't know I was here I got some oranges see I was gonna take this orange crate and I bought some green grass and I've got some Easter plastic wrap and I was just going to put our candies in this little crate and, and send it to her with a card. Now is that being bad? I don't know. I just love this so much and it, geez, it's heavy too compared to this. I'd say this thing weighed two, three pounds. Uh, but that's all right. I have a ship for all one price anyway box. So what is your opinion? What should I do for Cindy? Should I do what I meant to do, give her this with her molten milk egg balls or put them in here? Then as because I'm going to the post office tomorrow, I can get this to Missy before she leaves. I wanted to give her something, but I um, didn't order anything. But I had ordered this for myself last, last summer. It's one of our tops, Karen, and it's kind of a taupey coffee light brown. Um, it's too small for my boobs. I could wear it, but and also it's sleeveless. But it's so pretty. And I was thinking, would, would Missy wear something like this, Karen? Or if you would wear it and could wear it with something underneath it, I'd send it to you. But it's a 24-7 it's a size large. So it, it, it should be too big for Missy, but it don't look big at all. It, it just looks like a size medium to me but anyway I tried it on it fits but tightly but tell me do you think Missy would take this or wear this I thought it would look good with a tan just plain in the back just the little ruffle hem on no no ruffle hem on both back and front so anyway that's what it looks like Karen see if I can get this without getting into my coffee I don't know if she'd like the lace on this or not or if you really like it and could wear something underneath it, I'll save it and send it to you. This is my Qualma. This is my, what am I? My, I can't even think of the word. I'm in a quandary. I don't know what to do. I bought this for Cindy. But geez, I don't want to waste it on her terrible. No, I shouldn't say that. I just don't know if she'd appreciate it, Karen, because I've, this is so pretty. I don't know why. They only sold it for $20 for crying out loud. All right, I better go. This will be too long, and I want to talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.